very negative Google or Bing search results. Um, every time I make a video like this, I try to insert new information because speaking about reputation management can get very repetitive. We haven't focused very much on Bingbot and the Bing web crawlers and how they differentiate from Google, but overall, long form content is king. Long form content is gonna rank higher, also the power of the website. So, for example, in Google, high domain authority, is one of the, I guess, benchmarks we'll use to see how high a site will rank. It's not the be all and end all, it's just one score that's typically assigned by Moz. And we can say, okay, the domain authority is 98, it's gonna rank higher than a less powerful website. We can also apply that to Bing, because Bing will likely, if the domain authority is high, rank that content with a bit of differentiation. One thing that is totally different from Google and Bing is Google has placed importance and these are, this is from our own knowledge, from what we've seen, on certain factors like the type of file or the type of wording or um, PDFs rank really well in Google. Like if you have a PDF file, it's gonna rank excellently in Google, not so well in Bing compared to Google. So these are some factors, but overall, if you are publishing frequently enough, you're linking content together, you're making it easy for the web to find you, and you're being prolific, you're gonna be able to suppress content on Google and Bing. So my first recommendation for suppressing content on Bing search results is take the exact same measures you would with suppressing content on Google search results. Watch the other videos on this channel. Um, and you should know that Bing is, I believe last time I checked, about six to eight percent, maybe 10% or less of the marketplace. It's definitely under 10. So your results should be focused on Google. And by the time you've cleared Google, Bing search results will will follow. It's almost like a, a reverse pyramid. Google should be where you're looking and then Bing and then like duck, duck, go. If we're really going to be very specific on suppressing results on every single search engine that people use. Overall, focus on these things. Writing long form positive content about your brand in third person and publishing it, hiring publishers to publish it. Focusing heavy on social media, social media publishing, getting those account followers up. You can even run ads to your account for follows those things are gonna make your account even more, even more important in Google search results. Another thing, Google will actually pull in metrics like the verification batch. With Twitter Blue recently released, buying Twitter Blue or a Twitter account and keeping it updated and getting that verified badge will help you rank on Google because since Twitter Blue, Google has not updated that factor. The reason why that verification badge for people who don't know on Google um, or on social media websites actually proves that an account is authentic. So if you go on Instagram, you see beside a handle a blue check mark, or if you go on YouTube, you see I have a gray check mark on my personal account, or on my Facebook page, I have a blue check mark. It means this is an authentic representation of a public figure. Google wanted to pull those in so that they don't pull in the wrong, let's say, Elon Musk. They don't pull in the wrong Bill Gates. They want to pull in the right guy. That's why the verification badge is actually influenced and actually registered by the Google search engine. It can crawl for that factor. So again, try to get verified on your social accounts, keep them updated, keep them active. Focus primarily on Google like a reverse pyramid and continue to publish. If you need a step-by-step -step breakdown, we're authoring those posts on the blog. We've revamped our website with our new employees, so we don't have our blog post live there yet. But out of the 120 videos on this channel, you will be able to find, we've, we've gone and made playlists about how to suppress content on Google search engines. So I look at that first, focus on suppression. If you feel like you can reach out to the publishers, reach out to them and ask them to remove the content. And that should be the best step forward. If you need help with your online reputation, simply click the link down below the Calendly, and I'll meet with you for 30 minutes absolutely free. I'd be happy to help. My name is Nadar Nadar Najad, and thank you for watching.